Sartastic and in this video tutorial, well, video episode, I'm going to be talking about how to help your child learn art techniques. So let's dive in on this episode and let's make some art. your child uh, learn art techniques is that you're going to do some demonstrations. So don't stress out right now if you're like, what? Um, Ms. Zertastic, Kathleen, I cannot make art. I cannot draw. Don't worry. Hear me out. All right. So the first thing is that art is a visual medium. So it's easiest learned by watching others, right? Watching how somebody else does it. For instance, I am an artist and I go even still as a professional artist in my own art. So as Kathleen McGivern artist, I still go to, um, uh, workshops, artist demonstrations and artist talks. And there, I typically watch other artists make their art in front of me or teach how to do skills or techniques that are that they've learned or figured out and that helps me grow as an artist right much like how I do YouTube tutorials of art making and drawing for kids they're learning by watching so it's a visual learning medium and then you're creating visual media as well um, so for instance, the first suggestion is that you could demonstrate how to do something for your child, how to do a technique, how to blend your oil pastels, or how to mix watercolor paints. Now, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I cannot make art or draw myself, it's okay. You only need to be one step ahead of your child. That means that you don't need to be a master. You just need to be one step ahead of them. And I feel like you got this. You can do this. You could be one step ahead of your child. Now, if you have no idea where to start, my friend, there are so many books and YouTube tutorials out there. You can look up how to draw with oil pastels, how to um, art skills or art techniques with colored pencils or pencil crayons, whatever you talk, call them. There are two different names, <laughs> maybe more. Um, <laughs> so uh, whatever you call them, techniques with wax crayons. You would be surprised how many different techniques you could find with wax crayons. And you're thinking, they're just for coloring. No, they're, you can use them as an art medium. It's cool. Um, so think about how you're going to um, change up, or sorry, think about what you skill you might want to teach your child. So like think about like, okay, well, I would love for them to figure out how to do uh, oil resist, um, wax resist or oil pastel resist paintings. I'm going to look up resist painting techniques uh, with watercolor paints and then find out some different techniques that way. Or I want to find out different, just the variety of different effects you can create with watercolor paints so I can teach my child. I'm going to watch a YouTube video on um, how to do it and then we're going to, I'm going to teach my child how to do it that way. So, the, and that, the, I, I mean, here's the thing, you could just watch a YouTube video, but by teaching them yourself, you're creating a deeper connection between the two of you, that parent, um, parent child bond or guardian child bond or grandparent, whoever you are in relation to them. Um, and then, uh, it's just that quality time together. And I think that's really important too. Um, and plus you're modeling that art is for everybody. And even though you might not consider yourself an artist, you're going to try to and learn together. And I think that lifelong learning, uh, modeling that lifelong learning concept is really, really important. <clears throat> All right, number two is that you can get art books for kids. So there are so many authors out there. There's so many books for kids that are about art history. There are books about artists. There are books for kids about different art techniques or how to draw, and I think it's really important. Now, I also think it's important to have include books that are just about art or about the creative process, like The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Um, that one's just about making art and getting started. Like, you have to start somewhere. Um, and then slowly that process grows and grows and grows until you have a series of art, right? And that was in, at the beginning, Vashi, I think it was the uh, character, I haven't read it in a couple of years, three years. I think it's Vashi, Vashti? Um, oh, cross my fingers. There's a few different characters he works with. So I think the character, um, 
she makes a dot and it looks like a polar the teacher goes wow it's a polar bear in a snowstorm right and then the kid's like oh well, look at that i guess i can do something and then it grows and grows and grows and now she's making dots that express mood and express um what she's feeling inside expressing all kinds of her feelings right so it's expressing all kinds of things and um it grows and grows into her own style and that's the whole kind of seed that we're going to plant so you can take a look, look at books about art um the dot ish those are great places to start. Sky Color, all by Pinary Journals. Um, there's also books about artists out there or art history, and I think that's important to include the learning about art history <clears throat> and art his artists, both historical and contemporary. Uh, in addition to um, also uh, techniques um, that one can learn. So if you're looking for some for some suggestions for books for kids uh, in terms of art themes, um, you can check out my recommended recommended list of books in the description of the video. I highly recommend you take a look and check those out. Um, they are so so good. It is an Amazon affiliate link list. That means that. If you click it and should you actually make a purchase, I may get a commission from that sale. <clears throat> Just so you are aware, I do like to be very uh, transparent with disclaimers. I don't know that I have to say that, but I just like to be very, very honest. I don't like to, I don't lie. So um, that's one thing about me if you've been know me for a while. I am very transparent. <laughs> so um, I would take a look at that and then you might even find those books at like um, your local library. That would be a great place to start because if you don't want to have it forever and libraries are a great place to start or even a local bookstore, maybe even have used versions. I don't know. See what's in your area. All right. Um, the next thing is number three is to check out some YouTube videos. Um, I, of course, on my YouTube channel, Ms. Artastic, I do art tutorials for kids, art and drawing tutorials for kids, and you will find art and drawing tutorials for, there's some pre-K to kindergarten leveled ones, as well as kids like ages five to 13, right? So you can find art tutorials and art projects, art lessons, drawing and art in one episode, all kinds of things around all the themes. There are hundreds of videos, my friends. So check it out. Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. You're already on it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and you will find so many different drawing tutorials. There are elements of art and principles of design, principles of design, holidays and seasons. Everything you can imagine is a great place to start to get free drawing tutorials and art making tutorials for kids. All right, number three, uh, four <clears throat> is to take in-person classes. So another way to help your child learn how to uh, develop their art techniques is to find some local art classes in your community, whether it's a community center, um, a local art studio, maybe they have kids classes, then you can enroll in some lessons. If you have more than one child, you have to most likely um, pay per child and then obviously there'll be a schedule to kind of work through um, with your family but if you're really wanting to look for some lessons and get that one-to-one -one or like small group instruction with them then that's a great place to start as well all right number five is to go outside or draw inside still life so i again I say this one all the time, but just go outside and make art. You're going to find that it really energizes your mind and creative ideas. You can um, grab something to draw on, I say, and grab something to draw with. I leave it up to the kids to make a choice. Grab something to draw on, something to draw with, and we're going to go outside. You sit on the grass, put a picnic blanket out. You can go to a park. You can sit at a bench. You can go on a walk or go out on your patio or balcony, whatever it is. Go outside and make art. And the choice is you can either draw something that you see outside, either from afar or zoom in and do a close up, or you can draw something from your imagination. Because sometimes ideas just come to us when we're outside. I always find that I get tons of ideas when I'm going on a walk. It always makes me so happy. I always like, oh, I don't really feel like going on a walk. But then partway through it, you know, halfway through it, towards the end, I just feel so much better. Even if it's cold outside, even if it's rainy, which is 90% of the time where I am, um, uh, and the sky is usually typically gray, like it is right now. Gray, cold, rainy. Gray, cold, rainy, gray, cold, rainy. Oh, what day is today? Oh, well, it's gray, cold, and rainy. Cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just makes me feel better, even if it's not sunny, and I would love it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just dreaming of some... I just need to get some sunshine in my life, guys. I need some sunshine. That's what's up. I need some happiness 
and I need some sunshine. So send me your good vibes, send me your happiness, send me your sunshine, that'd be cool. All right, um, so the other, uh, the other part to that was draw inside still life so you can set up, you can have them set up their favorite little toy or a stuffy, because stuffies are fun. Who doesn't love a stuffy? I love them. I got them in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love stuffies, especially soft ones. They're so good. Beanie Boos, yep, I got a collection. Don't know why. Don't worry. I don't, especially love the Halloween ones. They always come up with new ones every year. I love me some Halloween Beanie Boos. I do. I got. <laughs> I buy them every year. They're just so cute. I love Halloween. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Um, and then you can do grab, uh, grab something to draw on, grab something to draw with, and then draw your still life inside. And that's gonna help them develop their observational still skills, their cognitive skills, and their creativity skills all in one. Oh, and fine motor skills, right? Drawing still lifes or drawing from life is developing all of those skills, fine motor, cognitive, creativity, um, all in one package. So I highly suggest you do it. They're gonna naturally get better just by doing that. All right, and finally, last number six is to take an online course. So if you can't make in-person classes, if it's a little bit too pricey, especially if you have more than one child, if you have a complicated work schedule or already so many after-school programs and just try and juggle and do all the things, which I know is so hard because life is like feeling insane nowadays, right? It's just all the time, go, go, go. There's always something new. It just never ends. So if you want to feel like you're not on that hamster wheel of craziness and you just want to be like, you know what, I would love to spend some time with my kid instead of just dropping them off and I'm again alone. Um, if you want that quality time, then you can actually grab my online course called Kids Art Academy. It is my online um, course designed for kids um, and one membership to it our one, you see me one basically purchase it one time and you get unlimited access to it forever, forever access. And also it's good for your entire family. That means not, not only just one child can do it, all your children can do it. Um, who else uh, lives and whoever lives in your household can join in. That means you can join in with your child all for the same one time fee. So that is it. That is a really cool thing about it. Um, and there's way more lessons in it than you would get at an in-person um, studio. So they can start off, the first part is phase one would be learning how to do um, drawing and drawing skills and understanding your pencil work and colored pencil or pencil crayon. Developing um, values and your value scales and your value spheres and then turning that into some more um, figurative, realistic looking pencil drawings. And then we're going to, in phase two, understand learning how to cartoon and kind of make it fun and get a bit more expressive and different styles of cartooning. And then in phase three, we're learning how to actually develop artworks using four simple art mediums that are super affordable and easy to use and grab. And then you can use them forever. Um, and so I'm buying all the kits and buying all these things and buying easels and all this stuff like that. Like, no, I don't believe in that. That, and that's for later on in life if they want to continue pursuing it. But if we're just learning drawing skills, we need wax crayons, felt markers, oil pastels, and watercolor paints. And those can be found at any big box store, and they probably even have dollar store versions of them if you're looking to save some money, um, but still understand how, understand how to learn these techniques, right? Um, so you can check that out, Kids Art Academy. Again, my art program that I host on my website, artastickids.com. That is a website, I have a few. So if you're thinking, wait, I thought you have Artastic Collective and you've seen my teacher curriculums. Well, Artastic Collective is my teacher website, but for home um, families, I have Artastic Kids. So that way it's very much designed for a home or homeschool setting um, to help families with affordable art lessons. And I try to offer the most affordable art lessons and memberships on the internet. That is my goal. I want to make art accessible. And then of course I have a YouTube channel to supplement that as well. So you have lots of options to navigate um, in terms of getting art, art instruction at a very affordable or free in terms of my YouTube channel cost. Um, you can check out more about our ta uh, sorry, Kids Art Academy uh, by scanning the QR code on the screen or selecting the link in the description of this video. My question for you today in this video is, where is the struggle in your home when it comes to teaching your child about art? Let me know your answer in the comments of the video 
and I will be sure to personally respond. I am the only person that runs Mizertastic everything about it, so make sure you do that. And your next video to watch is how to help your child learn different art mediums. And you can watch that video by clicking the link above or in the description of the video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. My goal is to get to 10,000, then 100,000 subscribers. It's really, really, really important to me. Why? I don't know. It's just, I just really want to, I just really want to do it. I want to, that is my goal. I just want to say that I was able to work so hard enough to get to that goal. I would really appreciate if you could share this video and get others to help me get to that goal. That would be super cool. Maybe I'll throw out a contest if I get to 100,000 subscribers. I'll do some crazy contest or something. I think that'd be nice. Like a really, 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 really big giveaway. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you have some ideas for a giveaway, also put that in the comments. I would love to hear it. Anyways, that's it for this episode and I'll see you in the next one.